so <clears throat> I got this on sale. I'm gonna be doing a uh, <clears throat> I gotta do a motor swap and the engine I'll probably go pull it myself. I just want to have this on deck. I'm just gonna have one of those uh, I just carry some batteries and uh, one of those uh, converters and hook it up. <clears throat> Anyways, I kind of want to discuss made in the USA. But it's funny because it kind of like blocks it a little bit. It says made in the USA, but it says right underneath with global materials. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to discuss this, and it's the same thing with this too. <clears throat> so you got to get close to see it. <clears throat> now, this to me is better than nothing, to be honest with you. But uh, <clears throat> as far as I understand things, with a lot of things though. Um, with cars, um, the tires, when you buy a Ford, it doesn't say Ford on the tires. You know, different companies come together, 30, 40, 50 companies come together to make one, one car. You know, they, uh, whoever designs it, they work as a team and they order the parts that they need from different companies. So I understand that. As far as I understand this though. Um, basically, this probably the parts come from overseas, and then people here assemble it. Um, to be honest with you, in a way that's kind of good enough for me. To be honest with you, this is the this was the one that's on sale. This is the 10 amp. They had the 13 amp, which is about this was on sale for like uh, 80 bucks. And I have had some good ones in the past. I had a good one. They stole it. I bought a cheap one, and it broke. And so I'm just buying another one now. This is the 10 amp. It's going to be good enough for what I need it for. I don't really need the uh, the 13 amp. But I mean, you you see where they have the pride, you know what I mean? Made in the USA with the global materials. And like I said, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of vehicles and and anything that have more than one part to it, it's going to have multiple people, you know, like even in your TV, it's going to have, you know, uh all the different parts are made from different areas and everything. Anyways, but, uh, so I understand if the parts, the separate parts come from different countries and then they assemble it here. At least they're keeping American jobs to do the assembling. Hopefully they're doing quality control and they're making sure that it's, it's designed here. I like when it says designed in the USA. At least these people are trying, you know what I mean? They're taking pride in their work. They're trying. And I congratulate that. I, I I really do. I congratulate that. But as far as this though, like, it's just one piece though. It's confusing to me. Like, what's the global comp? <laughs> what's the component that you know? I mean, is it the paint? Is it the packaging? Is it, uh, who knows what it is with that? You know what I mean? Anyways, so people get pissed off when I don't open my packages, and I'm telling you guys, it's like freaking when you're a grown adult and tools and I justify all my tool purchases because I say they pay for themselves and they do I have tools from 10 years ago that I still have you know I could probably get the same price I paid for it I like buying tools though when I say I have like a tool addiction it's it's not it's not really a joke it, it's like kind of real and uh that's really why I don't buy straight from like places like snap-on because what I, the tools I have, um, I would have one-tenth of the tools I have if I just purchased straight from Snap-on, you know what I mean? I'm going to get, do all, if you buy one of these from Snap-on or something, it's going to cost way more. Looks like I still got a little bit of a, I got a razor blade right here. Take a look at it. Uh, 10 amps. 10 amps is good enough for what I'm doing it for. I'm going to use this for just cutting some motor mounts and stuff like that, probably. I got some engine work. I don't know if I'll film it or not. Um, I'm already supposed to be done with this year. I was only supposed to make 300 videos. But, uh, so they show their pride. You see it says right there, Made in USA. And, and that's good enough, to be honest with you, for me. At least they're showing pride. You know, they're not coming out and straight out lying to you. But I like it. I, I like to see that. I really do. 
that's a 10 amp I like Dewalt and uh, it's not that I have any problem against any other companies it's just when I have I have Dewalt saws all I have Dewalt this Dewalt that Dewalt everything you know so I just kind of like to keep it you know if I if I started buying Milwaukee I would probably stick with Milwaukee um, but li I like the Dewalt so the last one I bought was from Harbor Freight. It, it broke like literally the first time. I don't buy anything electronic from Harbor Freight. I just don't. Nothing from Harbor Freight that I, I have bought electronic has lasted like more than one use. So there's four positions you could put it in, which is pretty cool. You could put it in four different positions. Pretty cool. I'm a uh, yeah. I'm gonna pull the engine with this though, just to cut the stuff that I don't you know that I don't really need to. Uh, this is 10 amp, so they show their pride, and I like that. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? I really do. I understand this stuff may be from manufacturing another company uh, from another country. But they're showing their pride, you know, and I appreciate that. You know what I mean? And the people assembling it are, are you know, they got American people assembling it and everything. Um, I like I like to see that. I don't know why. I, I just like to see it. I don't know if it's because I'm American or because I've, I've grown up knowing that things made in the U.S. cost a little bit more. I, I think that's probably more, more than it is because I know people from other countries that they they relate USA when they they want to see the USA label on it. You see a lot of Hispanic people. They're they're addicted to Snap on. I have people in my family, Hispanic people. They love Snap on. They're all Snap on. They that's that's all they'll buy ever because they want to see that USA on it. You know, that's just they relate it to quality. They're they're way more into tools than I am. But um, I kind of want to just. But when it comes to something like this, though, like. I don't know. Is the whole thing is the whole thing made in another country? If so, what country is it made in? Because it doesn't tell you. <clears throat> made in the USA. It says uh, made in the USA of U.S. and foreign material. But what's made in the USA and what's what's foreign? And I I seen the the one that was the 13 amp, which was probably twice the price of this thing, was uh, it said made in Mexico. So. You know, it's not like it wasn't quality or anything. It's just I don't really think I need the 13 amp. This is going to be perfect. I'm going to use it for no more than five minutes at a time. Um, the other one's just like really uh, industrial quality. I don't need the industrial quality. I just, this is good enough for what I need it for. What I'm going to be using it for, hopefully. So, uh, anyways, what do you guys think about that? You guys think it's deceiving? Do you guys think it's... Uh, they should be doing that. You guys think higher quality when you see that, though. I mean, when I see the made in the USA, I, I really kind of think, uh, you know, it's overseen by. It's almost like it's kosher. I don't know if you guys know what kosher is, but I've seen restaurants that were kosher owned by Hispanic people, and they didn't have the keys to their own restaurant because the people who who made sure it was kosher you know they held the keys it's kind of like that to me in a way you know what i mean and in other religions other uh, they have you know halal and 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 things like that halal and haram and and kosher and non-kosher whatever anyways to me it's kind of like saying it's kosher you know what i mean like it's overlooked by an american company you know i don't know what do you guys think um You'll see this in some videos, though. I don't know I'm gonna, if I'm going to film the, the, the videos where I'm doing the, the engine and stuff. Sometimes I time is an issue, and I don't have time to film it. I don't have time. I just have to, like, if I have a weekend, I just have the weekend to do it, and i got to get it done. I don't have time to edit and film and all that. I don't even edit most of the time. Anyways, what do you guys think? I've seen this uh, all over the place. And it says with global components. So, I mean, do you guys, when you see that, do you think more highly of it? Do you think it's deceiving? What do you guys think about that? What do you think about my new Dewalt? We'll give it a test. We'll, we'll run, it, run it through its paces. See what it's got. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.